take my children. I, Mandus, of all the blood we have spilled together, the first drops fell from your hands alone. Then I am damned for a filicide, and everything is lost.
Mandus, put aside your misguided crusade and let me save them. You may hate me, Mandus, but I have seen the future, your 20th century, and let me tell you this, a far greater slaughter awaits you there. I seek to save the world by blood now, before millions fall beneath history, pushed under by blade, bullet, and gas. this madness. lives. Mandus, stop. Think about what you are doing. For your children, Mandus. Do not speak to my children, monster. I did not kill your children, Mandus. You sacrificed them on the temple steps, knowing what the kind of century would do to them. Your sons will drown, lungs full of mud and shrapnel on the banks of the Somme. You wanted to save them from the horror to come. That is the vision we shared. Everything we have built to avert this coming nightmare. You and I are one. We are the same. Our souls are entangled. We deserve to make them free.
have stood knee deep in mud and bone and filled my lungs with mustard gas. I have seen two brothers fall. I have lain with holy wars and copulated with the autumnal fallout. I have dug trenches for the refugees. I have murdered dissidents where the ground never thaws and starved the masses into fame. A child's shadow burnt into the brickwork. A house of skulls in the jungle. The innocent. The innocent Manders trod and bled and gassed and starved and beaten and murdered and enslaved. This is your coming century. They will eat the Manders. They will make pigs of you all. And they will bury their scalps into your ribs. And they will eat your No, for your children! I lay there and watched the god I had created die. At the end, when we were cold as the stone we had hewn his body from, when the lights were nearly all extinguished, we heard, in the silent distance, the man-pigs singing to one another. Then, as the last lights were gone, and we lay together in the deep, they drifted away, and all was silent. Such a silence I have never known. And as the dust settled on my open eyes, and we lay together embraced forever, I heard, miles above us, the sounds of the city turning over in its sleep. A church bell ringing out. And in that moment, the new century was born. <laughs>